Hey guys, it's Richie9497 here, and I'm going to be bringing you a bit of T Deathmatch Tactics on Underpass. On this game, I'm going to be using a UMP Silenced with secondary of a Spaz 12. Yeah, I had a Spaz 12 in this match. And I have my perks set as Scavenger, Cold Blooded, and Ninja Pro. Ninja Pro because I'm trying a new thing where I plug my headphones into my computer while my capture card's going so that I can hear people like through a turtle beach and that sort of style and then have my headset underneath it. It actually works pretty well. And in this game I get good KD and I'm going to be telling you the tactics you need to know when you're playing on this map. Before that, thank you everyone in the open lobby. It was lots of fun. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Me, Patriots and Eddie were there. And I've had lots of positive feedback on the Real Gamers TV channel. Thinking of the channel, the funniest thing has been posted on there by Change Games. I'll read it to you. Hey yo, Real TV Gamers. <laughs> we have a beta key giveaway for you. See ya in game. Okay. First of all, Real TV gamers. Second of all, what beta? When I was talking to Patriots last night on Skype, I w I was guessing that it was probably Halo Reach beta key giveaway. And if it is, man, you're messed up. It's over. Done. Can't play it. Also, thank you to the 962 subscribers. We need to get to a thousand pretty soon. And because we're in competition with the Cap Gun, who's only a few behind us, <coughs> another great commentator, you should go subscribe to him and subscribe to Real Gamers TV if you're not already. Otherwise, you can never say lol or ruffle ever again. Ever. I mean it. I'll come to your house and I'll gouge out your tongue. Put it on a silver platter. Okay, so in this game, it's kind of campy, but when you hear people say playing defensively, this is playing defensively because um, as soon as I spawned, I moved right into one of the buildings where no one goes, and then across the bridge, jumped across a few things, and I got to this middle section. Now this middle section is great here because I can run around playing defensively, not camping, but also not rushing. And in front of me, to the like the bit to the left of where I just was, there's the spawn of the enemy team up there. And then in front of me, well there was in front of me, the two buildings that everyone always goes in, where there's the windows where people snipe from. There's this little bit down here that people ran across where I just picked off this guy. And on in front of me now there's the building where lots of people go and camp. And then behind me is the bridge where lots of people go underneath or across. So this is a really good place to hold down if you're playing Team Deathmatch or Domination. And Domination, this is good because then you can... This is a good spawn trapping location. So... The double experience has started on Modern Warfare 2 for a while now. Uh, I, I'm only saying this because I didn't really notice it. Oh, there's this guy up here. I pick him off. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm cursed. I get my predator. I get a kill, or I don't get a kill, and then I get massacred brutally in my face by spiders on steroids, A.K.A. campers. So there's my kill, and watch what's going to happen as soon as I go up and try and get some kills. <coughs> now when you're playing an underpass, the best thing to use is either a silenced weapon or a thermal sniper. I say silenced weapon because this is quite a big map, and if you're playing defensively like me, not camping note, I'm not Wings of Redemption, then people are gonna know your location because not many people actually watch the kill cams anymore and a thermal sniper because this is quite a dark map and if you're running around and 
there's a guy that's quite a distance away from you he will appear dark so a thermal sniper is extremely useful if you're trying to pick off people from long distances and also get maybe a Kimbo handgun or something for short distance because a sniper rifle that will do you up to medium and long distance short distance you can try like a quick scope or a no scope but the most reliable and best thing to do in a short distance case would be to actually pull out your secondary weapon I'm uh, using a Kimbo Magnums at the moment because they're quite powerful and they give me a lot of firepower I would use a Kimbo USPs but I think the Magnums better because it has a bit more firepower and as soon as I like Kimbo Desert Eagle I'm there so I'm sticking to this area because I know they're all going to be running past here this is in the middle of a high traffic area in fact everywhere around here is a high traffic area that's why this little location is so good only problem is there's a lot of windows and doors and entrances and exits where people can fire noob tubes or grenades or whatever they have that took a while to kill that dude so you can see all the grenades and noob tubes that keep going past me so that's why it's so dangerous here, that's why I have a blast shield so if I see a grenade indicator I can just take them down the only problem I actually have with blast shield is that I use my radar a lot when I play, you should use your radar when you play because it tells you where the enemy is and also where your teammates are it's extremely useful just always look at your radar because if you have a teammate and he suddenly dies you know there's enemies near there so there's the end of the game I can't see my score because it's on a small screen because a pinnacle video spin is such a small screen but thank you for watching my video this has been Richie9497 for Real Gamers TV. Goodbye.